So I got impatient. I was gonna wait until this was done and all, all put together, like I was gonna show you this last piece being melted on, uh, and then was gonna wait for it to all be together and show you step by step, piece by piece, you know, but uh, having a little bit of trouble with the printer. It's having a sensor problem. And it's taking forever, so I don't want to take too long with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this top part completely smoothed out. You can see the tape under here. That way it's gonna protect all this and keep this as TPU so I can melt that other piece on here without any problem so it's not gonna have any paint on it or any of the Alex Flex on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the primer on the upper part of this uh, and then I'll show you a video I'll, I'll take some video and be putting the Alex Flex on this. So it looks really bad, but it's not as bad as you think. It's this bottom piece here, you can see it's one, two, and three different pieces. It's supposed to be one piece, but since that sensor's messing up, uh, I had to keep reprinting in certain parts, and it was just a mess. It's just, it's just taking forever. So I just put this on a tripod, and um, I've got my stove open over there because it allows heat in here makes it go quicker, takes the moisture out of the air and, and helps the drying quicker. So you just need to fill, fill a primer first. I'm just, this, I put a coat of this on and a different primer on it. I know that uh, when Nico does his, he just uses filler primer, but I've got a little bit better way to do it. So this is gonna help everything stick uh, and all you need is a very light coat. You don't need very much, just a real light coat. See, you can still see a little bit of the red through. That's all you need. That's what it looks like with the primer on it. So you can still see some of the black through, a little bit of the red through. It's just a real thin layer of primer. And like I said, the whole point of this layer of primer is to get things to stick to the TPU. Because filler primer sticks to TPU really well. And I'll actually go back in here. I'm not going to show you in here, but I'll go with a 220 grit sandpaper. And I'll do a real quick, real fast sand over it. Not to sand it down or anything, but just to get the, the top layer smooth. And then put a coat of this on it. This flexes really, really well. Really well. It sticks to the primer here. And it sticks to Alex Flex better than this does. You know, when something works, you just go with it and you keep doing it. So this is what I put on afterwards. I do put my uh, piece on the tripod right over the stove. Feel the heat off of it. Here's the thing, TPU soaks in water. I mean, it holds water in it like crazy. And the reason I do this, and I'll come in here after a little bit of time and I'll turn it and get it on all four sides, putting a direct heat on it like this. Uh, I've just got my stove up as high as it'll go, putting a direct heat on it like this pulls the moisture out of the TPU as well as pulling the moisture out of the primer. The moisture is bad. Alex Flex is water-based, so it's got moisture in it. Um, primer's got moisture, I mean, everything's got moisture in it, and TPU soaks in moisture, so you wanna keep it as dry as possible. And these are little details that uh, I don't know if Nico does, or if he just hasn't thought about or something like that, but anytime that you work with TPU, I wouldn't say you have to put a direct heat on it or something like that, but you want to think about keeping the piece dry. So I did a really, really quick sanding. You can tell right in there that it's been sanded. Just real, real quick. Not, not to really sand anything down, but just to knock off that top layer. Uh, then I'm gonna go in here with this. Same thing, real light. This just kind of seals everything in. It, it's almost like, uh, this acts a lot like this stuff, but it doesn't give you that rubber texture and it doesn't peel right off like this does. So anyways, we're gonna set that over by the stove again, keep the moisture out and let it dry quicker. Uh, then we'll do another real quick, quick sanding, just like we did before. And we'll do the Alex Flex. So now that I've got both uh, primers on and Half the reason I forgot to mention that I used the other primer is because um, one of the TPUs the filler primer sticks to really good and then the other one this primer sticks to really good. I find if I put a light coat of both, 
both of them on there, then it works perfectly fine. So uh, now we've got the Alex Flex. And the first step that I usually do with the Alex Flex isn't to get a smooth cover, but it's kind of just to see where I'm at. So I just get it on my finger, kind of rub it in, try to get it into all the crevices. So it's almost like a beauty coat when you're uh, making a mold. So I can get as much as I can, make sure that that doesn't dry out. And Just trying to coat the entire thing, pushing down as hard as I can to get the Alex Flex into the crevices and creases. And then we'll come back over it again once this layer dries. And start uh, seeing where we need to put more, where we need to layer it. This is a real, real fast uh, step. Just pushing down, getting it into the creases. I'm going to continue to do that all over and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's all covered. Alright, here it is completely covered. I went light for the most part except for certain areas that I could see where the uh, seam was just way bad and I needed to put a little bit extra you can see that extra there and that seam there's a little seam here that indented in that I put a little bit more in and I think along here in the back and a little back back there but for the most part it can be about like that it's just a beauty coat to get this thin layer to stick to the filler primer and then once this dries so basically I'm just going to take a 220 and uh, I want to put one hand underneath because this is TPU so it will bend in order to get a nice straight surface you want to get one hand underneath I like to sometimes make a fist like this and put it right where I'm going to be sanding keep it sturdy And I just go in circles. It's real easy. It doesn't take much to sand it. Not much pressure. So you don't want to be pushing in so hard that you dent it. You can just kind of go in circles. I'm going to get this as smooth as I can. You don't want to sand through it. TPU does not sand. So you want to try not to sand all the way through the one layer of uh, Alex Flex and the two layers of primer into the TPU because it's going to cause like a wavy effect. Well, we've been doing this for only a couple minutes now and it's very very smooth you can see maybe hopefully this is going to come into focus okay right there there's a little line of an indention I'll go out this for like a, a second just to see if I can sand it out more than likely since it's such a, such a thin layer I'm not going to be able to I'll go out it for just a second Everything else around it is pretty smooth on either side. So now, next time I get the Alex Flex out, I'll just put a little bit on my finger and go over that little spot. And that's it. All the rest of this isn't going to get touched up, just that little spot that needs it. I think in Nico Industries video, he talks about sanding it down and then spraying it again with uh, primer. It's a really good way it, for anybody who's less experienced to go in and get a uniform color 
because the uniform colors will show the flaws in everything. So when you have multiple colors like this, you know, there's white and black and gray and, and all this stuff. And once you start sanding down like Bondo or this or something, you're going to start seeing a plethora of different colors. It's harder to see de detail when you have a ton of different colors. And so it's really good to go in and you don't even have to use uh, filler primer. You can use some other type of primer or something. Just get a thin coat to get a uniform color and it'll make all the imperfections stand out at you. Let's we'll just say this side is done. I typically wash with soap and water all of my prints but not this stuff because it is water based and if you put water on it uh, it will kind of soften back up and then you'll have to re-sand it and stuff so get you some canned air So we've got a few little spots here, through here. So basically I'm just going to go with a little bit and just go along, boom, touch all these tiny little spots and then go in and sand again. It's going to be real smooth. And you can see those little spots there. They're just kind of little air bubbles. Just that there. Like I said, tiny little air bubbles. And that's real easy to get. I was talking about that uniform color so it'll will show mistakes and stuff a lot better, blemishes and everything. And you can see really well right here, here, up here. I mean, it really stands out. So I went ahead and primered it because I added this little piece on here. And I did that little thing so you guys can see it. You can see the white here and the white here, white here. Uh, this is kind of what a lot of people like to do. You sand it down, get one uniform color, and then you can see uh, the bad parts. And then you try to work at it, see if you can sand it out, make it you know, smooth and stuff. And if you can't, then put some more on it, and then go around and sand it again, put primer on. You know, and you can continue and do that over and over again. This is one that I actually sanded out here. So you can see here uh, just how good the uniform color picks up flaws. And then here is a sanded out one. Uh, so you can just go through and do all those tiny little things. I didn't do it completely. I just went through and did a quick sanding and stuff on most of it. This had some lines and stuff in it. Really, most of this is smooth already, except for a few little lines and stuff up here I couldn't sand out. Uh, there's a indention right up here and I know this section is going to have to be worked on but I'm I, I kind of have a cutoff spot here with the Alex flex and then I'm gonna do the rest of the bottom here so you can take like a straight edge or something and just kind of this is the best way to do it here see now it's all in there and it's smooth so you can just kind of put that on Make sure that you push it in. There we go. See that? This is the absolute best way to do it. I know Nico starts out doing it this way. I like putting that on first and doing the first sanding and then I just have a bunch of tiny little spots that I got to do this on. It saves a whole bunch of time. Whole bunch of time. good well, I've done that process a few times and we've got a real smooth surface you can see just how smooth that is so just keep repeating that over and over again and you'll get a 
real good smooth. You'll get a real good smooth uh, piece. Just come in here. Blow it all off. Now, when you're done, like this is just about ready for main paint. There's a few spots I still need to touch up. When you're done, let me show you that real quick. Just get you some Clorox wipes. And there it is. You can see just how smooth that is and how beautiful it looks. So, yeah, it looks really good. And that's what you get when you're done. Nice TPU piece. That flexes. So, pretty legit.